Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. This one's from a company by the name of Metal Bird. Uh, if you're not familiar with this company, uh, they're, they've been around since like 2009 and uh, it's a New Zealand company. They, uh, the, the owner, the founder, uh, he was an artist and uh, he started doing street art and making bird silhouettes and uh, started uh, putting them up uh, on power poles and, and um, trees and just anywhere you could find uh, a place to put them and uh, then the the company grew and now they they're selling these things worldwide and uh, they're like um, one of the largest manufacturers of, of this type of, uh, of of art you know and uh, uh, I seen the company and reached out to them and uh, wanted to do a video review for them because uh, they've got some really uh, neat products and uh, you know it helps spruce your yard up make it look nice and uh, just wanted to tell you a little bit about the company uh, and the product. Uh, it's made from uh, like a, a laser cut Cortin steel. And to be honest with you, I never heard of Cortin steel before. Uh, and I Googled it and uh, they said it's a copper chromium alloy steel, which uh, makes it uh, weather resistant. And, and uh, it does rust, you know, it's not like a, a stainless steel where it's not going to rust, but it gets like a light patina over it that takes it anywhere from like two to four years to develop uh, to its max patina. But then after that, uh, it's, it's got a nice uh, rusty bronze uh, color to it and uh, it stays that way and it, it lasts for for a long time it's not like it's going to just rust in two and you only get a couple years out of it this should be around till i'm in the grave uh so anyways uh this product now uh since they've expanded and uh, they've started making them here in the united states so this is a made in the usa product so i definitely want to support them for that and uh anyways the way that this works is you've got um a piece of uh pointed steel right here that's been sharpened to a point and uh they've got different designs for uh to choose from and you can go on their website and look at all the different uh birds and 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 stuff that they have on there and there's there's a ton but uh the way that it works is you just take uh, this pointed in and you hammer it into the side of a tree and you can see them get there's a point here on this one and you know um it's made uh really good i mean it's it's made out of like an eighth inch thick uh steel and uh you know uh, they they asked had some frequently asked questions on their website uh, and, and it said can you paint this and uh it says well sure you can but why would you want to i mean it's it's pretty the way that it is and you know if it's uh if it's going to develop a, a nice patina um then you know most people are going to leave it plain but they said Sure, if you want to go to the hassle of uh, of uh, prepping the metal and and doing all that, then sure you can paint it. And uh, but they recommend that you powder coat it. So uh, you know if you've got one that you want to paint up, then uh, by all means, you know as long as you sand it down and clean it real good, then you should be able to, to uh, paint it. But to be honest with you, I like them the way that they are. And uh, I've got some right here that I've went ahead and hammered into the side of the tree and we'll start right here at the top we've uh got the woodpecker and uh i waited till late in the afternoon so you guys could see the uh the sun there in the background and you can see the silhouette of the the woodpecker and then down below it you've got the cardinal and you can tell all the lines are are super sharp in the metal because it's uh it's laser etched and uh you can just tell that it's it's got a lot of great detail in there and so it looks really good then down here you got the great horned owl so i think those look really really nice i can't wait till they get the uh the patina on them i think they'll they'll look pretty flawless all right guys uh, i've got one here uh this one is uh the mockingbird and i'm gonna show you how to install it and you can see right here that it's uh got a sharp point on the end that they've sharpened it down uh, there on the tip and uh it's really easy to drive into the tree it don't take just very little effort uh so if you're you're elderly you know you don't have to worry about 
uh, being able to drive this thing in you, you should be able to do it uh, with no problem. Um, and also, um, you don't want to drive the spike in all the way because you've got this much room here on the end. You don't want to drive all that into the tree. It's not necessary. You only want to drive maybe in, uh, maybe an inch or, or so into the tree. And uh, you know, I was reading through some of the frequently asked questions if uh, if it would hurt the tree. And they said uh, since they've been in business, they've not had anybody uh, complain or say that it's damaged their tree or anything. Because you know, anytime you open up a tree, uh, you can open open a, the the bark up and it you know it could get a disease or something like that but they said they've never had any kind of problems the tree just kind of seals itself up around the the spike but just a regular hammer and you just put it up here you tap right here on the end and literally I've tapped in there maybe maybe an inch and you can see that it's it's not going anywhere and uh, the wind's not going to knock it loose or anything and so I'm all done so now you can you can see the silhouette of the bird and uh, it looks nice uh, right there on the side of the tree and so uh, if you're ask yourself is this going to scare any of the birds off uh, from coming in my yard no because uh, it, they don't seem to mind it at all they'll come land right on top of it but uh, so Anyways, I think it looks great. I'm going to show you the, uh, the hummingbird uh, that I'm going to put in the front yard. All right, so whenever you get your metal bird uh, package, it comes in just like a cardboard envelope like this. And, you know, it's not very big. And it's got a nice little latch here on the front. So if you're giving it as a gift or whatever, uh, it, looks, it looks nice and presentable. And when you open it up, you can see that it's, it's got the bird on the inside. And then... You know here on the back it tells a little bit about the product and then it's got the label on here and uh, so you know it just tells you how to install it so anyways appreciate you guys watching and uh, check out metal bird I'll put a link in the description to their their website and uh, check out all the different birds and products that they have on their website uh, you'll be you'll be surprised and uh, you know uh, you don't have to just put these on trees you can hang them on or nail them into uh, like a power pole or anything that's that's wood or whatever and you know I was sitting here thinking that uh, if you wanted to you could take and even uh, drill a hole into that metal and maybe screw them onto maybe a porch or something like that if you wanted to so it's totally up to you and uh, just be creative and uh, it'll work out so anyways I appreciate you watching and please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, Please put some comments down below. If there's something you'd like to see me do a video review on, I'll try to do it for you. Thank you.